We've got Western Kentucky's coach here. We'll start with an opening statement and take questions. Well, first, congratulate uh, Coach Foley on a great team, and, and they always play tough. Uh, we've had some great battles over the years, including last year and year before last. Uh, we just, uh, you know, they really did a great job on the boards. We came in with a game plan that we were going to really try to work on those defensive boards and get some paint touches, but like all uh, uh, the Little Rock teams, they make that really tough on us. And so uh, I felt like we battled a little bit harder in the second half. Uh, changed our defenses up, but uh, all the credit goes to Little Rock and really being able to stay poised, stay controlled, and uh, just keep working that game until they got to the end. So uh, a lot of credit goes to their, their young ladies. Hey, Coach. Uh, Drew Tennis from the College Heights Herald. Um, so what do you think about your performance today and what, you, what could you do to improve for your next game? Yeah, Drew, I'm not happy with it at all. I mean, we, we got out rebounded by 15 again. We work uh, constantly on defensive rebounding. And uh, we still are not uh, uh, coming up with those boards and ending those possessions like uh, like we need to. Uh, got everybody about 15 tonight, uh, and so we, we've got to do a much better job. I felt like then offensively, uh, we're still determined to dribble that ball into trouble, Andrew. And that's the part that uh, we work and work on. Make sure we move the ball, move players, uh, but we don't see that floor like that yet. And uh, most of the times now we're putting the ball on the floor and we're getting ourselves into a lot of trouble and resulting in bad shots and turnovers. I believe we only got. One, maybe two uh, layups in the half court off the bounce tonight. And so uh, that's, that's not our, our equation for success. Uh, we've got to be able to move that ball uh, more freely and find easier shots. Jared, Jared McDonald. Coach, this is Jared with the Daily News. Um, you know, I know things haven't gone your way in terms of win and loss with a young team. Um, you know, you guys do get down 21 in the third quarter, though. Um, but you guys are able to cut the lead, the deficit to um, single digits early in mm -hmm. the fourth quarter. You know, even if it's not going your way, how important is it with a young team like uh, you battling and to see that effort throughout the whole four quarters? Yeah, Jared, you cut out a little bit, but I think uh, you hit the nail on the head. The, the main thing that I, I keep uh, trying to teach these young ladies is keep playing hard. Just keep grinding, keep going, and they, they're doing that. They're not having success right now on the offensive end, uh, having some success on the defensive end, uh, but not ending those possessions with a rebound. Uh, and then we're fouling way too much. And so and some of that is, uh, is youth and kind of we're, we're reacting more than anticipating. And so you, and to be a great basketball player, you know, you kind of got to anticipate the play and be ahead of the game a little bit. And so we're not to that point yet. Uh, but I was real proud of that bunch we had in there about the last quarter and a half. Uh, they kept on fighting. Uh, we switched defenses several times. Uh, they did a good job. We got some steals, uh, got some stops. Uh, we just didn't get enough baskets on the other end. And then it even shows up at the free throw line. You know, we, we fouled more. Uh, I think Little Rock was 75% from the free throw line. I think we were about 60% from the free throw line. So, uh, that, that, again, that's just kind of being uh, poised, being uh, having your composure and stepping there and knocking it down. And so uh, we're just not to that point yet. And uh, I, I really believe that these young ladies are going to keep fighting, they're going to keep working hard, and we're going to keep getting better. Coach Drew Tennis with the College Heights Herald again. Um, who are some players today that you think the, really performed well and are excited to uh, work on practice for your next game? Well, game in and game out, you know, I'm, I'm proud of Miru, uh, Miral Abdegawa. Like she comes and brings effort and energy every game. Uh, she's crushed when we when we don't find a way to win, and so uh, and she brings that same effort every day in practice. And so I, I, I. I can't, there's nothing. There's never any game or any practice that I'm not really proud of what she brings to this team. Uh, the other one I'm really proud of, I have hopes of already stepped in today and brought some good energy on the floor and pushed the ball down the floor. Uh, we had some turnovers, more turnovers than we want right there, but I feel like she did a good job coming in because uh, Mariah Haywood kind of got in a little bit of foul trouble. Uh, and then, then Fatupoi, you know, settled down and, and really started being more active inside today. Uh, the shots just weren't falling. Uh, we had several balls that just we, we didn't get in the post when we needed to or we got the ball in there and it went through somebody's hands or we got it in there and we missed layups. We just didn't get a high enough percentage on, on those plays. Uh, but those are three young ladies I was really proud of. Jared with the Daily News, one that you didn't mention, um, Tori Hunter. You know, she had been in some foul right. trouble these first games and she had nine points, five rebounds today, kind of getting back in the flow of things, you know. Um, what did you think of her and how important is she going to be while you guys don't have Raneem and don't know when she might be back? I'm glad you mentioned Tori because that's what I forgot because I believe she was three for three from the field, I believe. Uh, and, and so uh, she had, and she's working hard. You know, it's been about two years since she's played a game. And so she's, a, she's 
trying to catch up with the pace of the game, and she gets winded out there, but she did. She's uh, And she's really trying hard every day in practice. And so I'm glad you mentioned her because that was one that, that I forgot. Uh, but she did. She played really hard, proud of how hard she's uh, uh, trying to get back and that game speed of things. Uh, you know, several rebounds I felt like that she almost got. Uh, I feel like a few more games that she'll get to that point where she can come out with, with some double-digit rebound nights. And so uh, we do need that presence inside. Uh, defensively, I think she was still a little bit behind. That's one reason we subbed and put uh, Fatou Poi uh, in that position because I felt like we just need a little bit more speed uh, try to get that coverage underneath. And, and she did a fine job with that. But, yeah, Tori, as Tori kind of gets more and more comfortable, she'll do better and better. Let's go to Jeff Coach. This is Jeff with Democrat Gazette. Um, did anybody on ULR catch your eye? Uh, I mean, I know you're focused on your squad, but did anybody catch your eye as somebody that you would want to have to go up against again anytime soon, or anybody? You know, that you think they, they got something special there? Well, I'll, I'll, coming into this game, I knew that, that Bree Scott was, was a really good shooter. And so we were trying to make sure we didn't let her get off and get free. And the other young lady, I, I can't pronounce her name that well, number four, little point guard, like yeah. she's she's tough to handle. Like, And so we were really keyed on trying to make sure she didn't uh, – get everybody else involved and because she's so good at seeing the floor and creating things off the dribble and uh you know off and on we sometimes we did a good job but she's she's a slippery cat she's hard to keep keep contained and she gets inside there and she can finish at the rim and she can find people and so I feel like those two young ladies but overall one of the things that, that coach Foley's teams always do is they, they defend hard and they do a great job on the boards they always are physical rebounders and so uh you know credit to all the young ladies for that but to, both uh uh, Bree Scott and, and little point guard, I felt like were our special players. Thank you. Anything else for Coach? Jared? Uh, I've got one more. Um, coach, this is Jared with the Daily News. You know, you've had a lot of time in between your games, your first three games to start off the year. And I believe this one starts a stretch of four games in nine days. Right. What benefits are there uh, to having that with the young team now after you've had all that practice time leading up through these first three? Well, the benefit is that we can we can put this one behind us and move on. We talk about even uh, uh, this learning process of being you know, recognize a mistake, accept it, learn from it, but then move on. And so sometimes when you have too much time in between games, you can. But they this team's been pretty resilient after the other two losses that we've come back and had really good practices. Uh, they've worked really hard. So uh, we'll have to put this one behind us and get ready for Bellarmine, and then we got to turn around. And we got a really tough Mercer team and a tough Samford team uh, and so we've got a tough stretch the good thing is we're at home and uh, these kids are hungry to get back on the game get back on the floor and do better coach Drew Dennis with uh, College Heights Herald um, how vital do, would you say it is for the next uh, two games being at home how does that help you guys well it, it helps normally it helps a lot because of our home fans and so now we had a great crowd uh, at home against Ball State uh, with all things considered. And so uh, we're looking forward to getting back and getting our home fans. But I think it, it helps get the girls be a little bit more comfortable on a court that they're familiar with, uh, an area where we practice every day and shoot all the time. Uh, so I'm hoping that our shooting percentages uh, will be a little bit better and we'll just get a little bit more calm, not necessarily just from being at home, but from having another game under our belt. Um, for a lot of these young ladies, uh, this is game three in their entire career. And so uh, just having another game under our belt and getting ready to get back home will make a big difference.